Come on, Sean. The young guy's getting a, a showing here, Dan. Uh, kids fight so much in NRL fights. These kids are the future. They are hungry. They're then furious. Then we'll balance, huh? um, control, control, control. This is exciting. Innes immediately sitting up to guard, looking to get a grip of the cuffs there. Good passing from Adams. Stay there now, Dan. Take your time, take your nice time. Nice tight side control here on top. Just trying to sneak that Wait knee back in. Control that hip, son. Control that hip, Dadden. There you go. Get your knee in that hip, son. What does it mean for an, uh, a competitor to have such a good dominant position this early in a match, Dan? Well, as well as just being a good position to possibly transition tight, 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 just like this to mount and start looking to attack. If you can start on the uh, strong foot, if you can start attacking early, really get the guy defending early, you're going to really get the advantage both psychologically uh, and momentum-wise going into the match. So if he can keep him on the back foot this entire match, then it's going to be hard work to get back into the game. Adam is trying to pass again to that right-hand side. All the matches tonight brought to you by Prestige Developments, Valor Fightwear, Osborne and Co. Accountants and Tough Fightwear. This kid's match is an eight-minute affair, Dan. Quite a long time for, for such young grapplers to uh, get to apply their trade. Yeah, I can only describe that as ridiculous, uh, considering, <laughs> considering that uh, white belt adult fights are five minutes long. And even, I think, black belt masters fights are like six or seven. Oh, so stand stand so basically saying these kids have the endurance of a, uh, I would say, like a 33-year-old black belt. Oh, lumberjack sweep from Innes here, just not quite able to off-balance Adams, who sits back down into the guard. Pretty much the story of the fight so far, a guard work from Harry Innes. Yes. Yeah, what I want to see now is Darren start using that guard position. I want to see him start looking for the arm, looking to attack with a, uh, you know, an arm bar, a triangle, possibly looking to get a sweep to mount. That's what I really want to see from the bottom here. Some big matches to look forward to later down. Of course, our main event, Ross Nichols taking on Sam Gibson. Fantastic black belt match up there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. These guys have fought a couple of times already, but not for a little while now. So really looking forward to this. Who, who you got? Am I allowed to ask that? Oh, I'm, I'm not allowed to say, but is it? To say. I think it's going to be a great match. Obviously, Sam Gibson's coming off a podium last week at the, uh, the IBJJF Europeans. So certainly on form. I'm going to spend the rest of the evening trying to convince you Tell me who you think. <laughs> up, 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 up. <laughs> up, Years of practice of staying silent. Watch your speed. Up now, up. Yes, keep the legs high. So, close guard still for Harry Ennis here in our opening bounce of the evening. As soon as he opens them legs, so no. Quite an impressive setting here for these matches, isn't it, Dan? Nice big mat, great big lit keep space. Yeah, this is actually one of the nicest setups I've seen at a grappling match uh, in a very long time. In, in the UK, this is actually pretty pretty crazy. Not many tournaments in the UK having this sort of setup, and one where we have a full range of athletes from kids, women's, lower grades, you know, up and comers, and also you know, uh, established black belts. So it's a really nice uh, setting for these beginners, almost, you know, kids in the beginning of their career to be able to compete. Our referee, Oli Geddes, just watching for the slams, just trying to make sure that uh, he's not picking Innes up too high off the ground and depositing him back on his uh, his shoulders. Yeah, Darren, Darren looking, getting a little when, bit when the legs the are breaking guard, up, so looking to Hulk smash his way clean out. Make sure one leg now, we are just kicking off our proceedings here tonight. We've got a good five hours still to go. And uh, keep it, keep if you want to join in all the action, do join my co-commentator, Dan Strauss, who has command open, of the Tough Grappling Twitter for this evening, don't you, Dan? Yeah, I do. So if you want to tweet me, you can tweet me Wait at oh, Tough oh, GC Grappling like that. Challenge. You're right, you're right. That's T-U-F-F-G-C. Uh, hit me up on Twitter, see if I can give you a shout out there. Yeah, and ho hopefully you're enjoying the live stream. 
And you've got several more hours with us. That's an understatement. We have many, many hours. <laughs> this is pretty much a test of endurance. <laughs> I'll ask you that at 11 o'clock and see how we're going on. So right now, Innes potentially starting to slow down a bit with his guard work. He's kept close guard for quite a few minutes now without too many motions to sweep or break the posture. Back. Yeah, I really want to see Darren looking to open the guard here. He's very, very comfortable. Doesn't seem really in any danger on top here. Uh, controlling the double wrist here, but not really doing anything to actually open or pass the guard. So he's comfortable here. I want him to start actually oh. trying to open up and, and, and pass. I want, want to see something happen here. How hard can it be to open the guard in Gi when your opponent has, has oh, no intent to, to unlock those legs and is just using all his grips to pull you back down, break your posture? Yeah, the guard is one of those positions where either of the person, Darling, be it on top or underneath, in doesn't in want anything to happen. It can be very difficult for the opponent to make something happen. But really, I don't think that either uh, Harry or Darren on the top or bottom, that neither of them are really risking much here to try and make anything happen in this match. So um, I really want to see, we're getting towards the... You know, the later stages of this match. I want to see one of them go for it a little bit more. Yes, it's always interesting. You wonder at lower grades, juniors, at how much awareness they have of the environment, what their coaches are saying, what the clock's doing. But I can see Harry Innes actually glancing over at the big uh, timer that's sitting next to our desk and actually checking out how much time is left. So good awareness from the young man. Uh, yeah, that, that's pretty crazy that these kids are really experienced enough in grappling that they can be aware of what's going on around them. When I was their age, I was pretty much just eating crayons, <laughs> not doing much else. So pretty impressive from these young athletes. Of course, the, the junior scene overall in the UK getting better and better all the time. Good UK juniors elite squad really trying to send Many of the younger members of uh, UK Brazilian Jiu Jitsu to some of the bigger tournaments around the world now. Oh, now break your guard. Break them like so. Break them like so. Break them like so. Keep the elbow. Keep going. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. And go again. Go again. Go. Go. One leg in front, Alan. One leg in front. Now, thank you to those of you on Twitter letting us know that uh, my One cohort's leg microphone leg is perhaps a tad too low and we wouldn't want you to miss a single word that the Raspberry Eight has to say here tonight. Yeah, I think the Jin Jitsu, Jin Jitsu, I assume that you're both ginger and do Jiu Jitsu, so let me know if you can hear me a little bit better now. And the corner of Harry Innes just echoing our comments from a moment ago, Dan, saying you need to open your guard, start working, start trying to push this forward a bit because time is ticking away now and we've really been in this stagnant position for, for quite some time. It'll be interesting to see if the referee Oli Geddes is going to start thinking, well, on, oh, it looks like time is ticking away. I must admit, I can't see a timer where I'm sitting at the moment. But clearly not long left in this bout. Let's go now, let's go. Let's pass, let's go. Pass, pass, open. Sitting up for the sweep, but just rebasing is Darren Adams. Walk the legs, start looking for submission, Harry. Got 15 seconds. Need to break them legs, son. Closing seconds of this one. I think we're probably going to see it out to a draw here. And time expires. We're going to go to a draw for our first match of the evening. Harry Innes and Darren Adams. A good little display from the young men and some fantastic experience for them. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for these two warriors this evening. As a result of no submission, this match is a draw.